tank. 100 pound. 147.8. So, off to work we go. Hey! And here we are. Black Dyke Fishery. Oh, it's got that. Just standing outside talking to Dean, and the uh, fighter jets went flying past, about three or four of them. And you can hear them again. They're doing a lot of flying about. So. Gotta be double careful not to upset anyone. Ouch. <sighs> well, work, isn't it? Just to make a cup of tea. That's not a bad view. I'll show you around the lake in a little while so you can have a look. And you can see the work that Dean's put into this place to make it a lovely fishery for everyone. He's putting platforms on every single swim. Um, but he's always doing something. Every time I come here, he's doing something every time i've only been here a couple of times but he's always busy all day trying to make it comfortable and he's very polite um and he's really helpful but you can park your vans right here where i am he's only got one electric hookup but i'm sure if there was more vans turning up no dean he'd probably get more hookups put in So this is where you'll come, through here, and then, looks like someone's coming in, this is the information sheet, board, and you make sure that you put, you take an envelope and put it in there. And that's what they're telling you has been caught on. So who's had the most? 13 fish on snakes. Barbless hooks or debarbed only. Fish must be landed in the net. 
If you do not have one, they'll give you one. All browns and fish over five pound must be returned. That's what I want to catch, a brownie. Got boats, and you can hire this. You can have it right outside here. That's one of his new platforms he's put in. If you get a stand, so this is gonna be roughly the level he's gonna keep it at. This is a punishing swim at the moment. Dean. <laughs> <laughs> so, lovely fishery, how long you had it? We've been here since 2016. Right, yeah, so quite a while, isn't yeah, it? Seven, seven years, something like that. Yeah. And you've non-stop worked on this, because every time I come here, you're working. Yeah. It's a non-stop project, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is the thing. And we have camping and uh, glamping during the summer as well. So. How much is the camping to... The caravan is, uh, which has got three double beds, it's pretty plush in there. That's uh, 75 quid for two people, and then a and further £10 each person after two. So. And so that's, that's in August? That No, that's all year round. Oh. What so about the swimming though? You say they're allowed to swim? They're allowed to swim when the fish is closed, which is July and August. Ah, yeah, it's July and August. Yeah, yeah. and that's uh, the little cabin over there, that's up for grabs all year round as well. Um, and that uses the shower block and the kitchen in the fishery. Right. So that's that. And then we will have, this year we're going to have three bell tents, um, which will have its own sort of kitchen and toilet area up there. Oh, right. So that's. Yeah, we're expanding that as well. We do yoga yoga retreats here. We have the yoga going the on. Yoga's excellent. Little bit of everything going on. Well, it's working. So what depth have you got? Well, the depth at the minute would be about 18 foot. Wow. So when it is up to the grass, it's like 22 feet. Yeah, 22, That's deep, 20 isn't it? Yeah, it's a very And is it flat one. bottom? It's pretty much a bowl. So it pretty much oh. goes down and it used to be a chalk pit and it's clay lined and then... Uh, was it a reservoir for feeding uh, the, the land or...? No, it, oh, it is. It's, it's set up for irrigation. So oh, we can pump in from the, what we call the cut, which is the, the like, um, like a canal that comes off the river. Right. So we can take water out of there, fill this up, and then if they need it, they can irrigate onto the fields over there. And what about the river that's running along there? That's is it? it. That's the that cut. That is it. That's, that's the, the cut. cut. Yeah, that's, so that's not the river, that's the cut. So that mound oh, right. you see along there yeah. is like a man-made thing, uh, wow. which is attached to the little ooze. Yeah. And it's predominantly chalk? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a chalk pit, yeah. It's a chalk pit. Yeah. I can see lumps of chalk everywhere we're going around it. Yeah. And that's obviously why the fish grow big. <laughs> yeah, they love the chalk. They love the chalk, don't they? <laughs> so what's like, the biggest you've had out of here? Well, the biggest one was about 14 pound. Um, yeah, there's what, some, rainbow? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there's, there was uh, some monsters and, and it's hard to see. It's hard to know how many And how long ago was that out? Oh, that was a few years ago now. But Did it big, get put back? or? Did yeah, yeah, all the big oh, so ones. So it could be? All, all the ones over five pound go back and all the brands go back. So um, is it's the, really hard to know what are in it because the big ones and the brands get caught very seldom anyway. I was I mean, going to say. And that is part of... You know, we know that, we realise that is part of uh, trout fishing is they don't get caught in the same and way. And I've noticed that some people are having 20, 30 fish. Yeah, there's loads time. of fish coming out, yeah. I mean, I, I would give that a go up to about probably six or something, and then yeah. I'd go, right, now I want to try and target or Yeah, well, practice. a lot of people do. That's, that's I mean, I what I don't want to do is start having signs everywhere and telling people how to fish. Yeah. You know, most of the people that come here, if they catch... 10 fish then they'll start saying like what else might work you know so if yeah, I've been yeah, catching exactly, on yeah. snakes maybe buzzers will work and they'll they'll oh, play nice with that deep isn't it yeah and that's that's why the big ones and the, the browns get away get you know they can get out of the way because if they're sitting down on the bottom with their bellies on the bottom you know what i mean that's yeah. when they're caught the big ones yeah. it's always all the way down there you seem to stock it quite regularly as yeah, well yeah yeah we do yeah i mean that's for me it's it's a no-brainer just once a month put them in 
You once know, you stock once a month. Once a month, but we also keep our eye on the on the numbers, so we know what's leaving and what's. But what's that's a that's a formula that works for us. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a lot of stocking, isn't it? Really, it is. Yeah, um, but there's a, a lot of people that come here now. That's yeah. the thing. It's you know, if you've got a f- couple of anglers a day, then that's a lot. But mm. if you've got a lot of anglers coming and they're all taking fish out, last thing I want is for people to come here and not catch a fish. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's why I say the balance is good because it's people generally are not catching 20 fish you know yeah. i mean if you get over a shoal and and the numbers will be up there all 20 fish but that's not regular that's not normal right fair. normal is about five or six fish fair you know so when everyone's catching five or six fish you know the balance is about right yeah he's uh, i mean you've had seven on here on a monday yeah in january yeah it just shows you that they're, I know. Happy, they're happy to come and catch i know that the thing is uh, January and February, you used to almost write off because yeah. people didn't want to be yeah. out there in it. But yeah. it's not been like that this year. This is so mild. This Isn't is it? definitely something wrong yeah. for it to be this mild. Or unless we're turning into Spain, eventually. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> Drinking sangria yeah. in February. It's a lovely fishery. As I say, the browns, what do you reckon the, the sizes of the browns are? And the how browns, many do you reckon you've got? A lot? Well, what I used to do was, and I don't stock so many browns now because it's not that easy to get what you want when you want it. That's the other thing. From the suppliers? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So what I used to do was I used to stick a normal stock in one month and then the next month I'd put a few big ones in and a few browns in along with the rest of the fish. Right. Are you with me? So, yeah. Uh, you know, are they dearer than the rainbows? Yeah, loads dearer. Are they? And big fish are loads dearer as well, you know. Really? And fish, I mean, talking about fish, fish are now £2.70 a, a pound. Can this is one of they, they've always said, and you know better than I, this is one of the, the, the fishing venues, trout, mm. which is one of the hardest ones to balance, yeah. to earn a living out of. Oh, exactly. It's, it's not easy. And that's why we diversify, because there's... You've got to do a little You've bit of everything. Because it, I mean, if you look at the cost each month to stock, that's a lot of 20 quids coming in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, but it can work because we've got a good name now. And I think a lot of people, can, and the other thing is there's not that many fisheries around here.
never been so uncomfortable in my life. My trousers are falling down. Traces are falling down. Oh, these things are horrible. These are Swedish deer on our trousers. If I remember rightly. And I think they're made for a giant. They are pretty tall over there, aren't they? Oh no, they call something else. Redbrook. Extra large. Shellabrook trousers. Nice trousers, but if you get the right size. Well, I had three. And it started to spit with rain. And I'm thinking, I need a cup of coffee. Tugs, nothing. Follow ups. Very quiet. Move swims. Move from over there to this corner. He's took it right under my feet. Bless. <coughs> Get the net. Didn't expect that, obviously. Nice fish. It's a pal. A bit like me, probably can't. Yeah. 